the moon boot was popularized by an Austrian. Oh, really? I didn't know yes. that. Okay. Yes, uh, the skier who became a singer, what's his name? Uh, and Stern, der deinen tr Namen trägt. Um, uh, 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 <laughs> what's his name? Uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, God damn ah. it. Uh, uh, he's really. Ich bin so schön. Ich bin so toll. Ich bin der Anton aus Tirol. Yeah, well, that's DJ Ötzi, but that's not Einstein. Ah, der, no, Einstein, der dein Name trägt. Downgrade. That stone over there, that headstone <laughs> where, with your grave. Yeah, that's that's that. <laughs> it has your name. <laughs> yeah, it has your name on it. So. <laughs> It's a super dark song about oh. you killing a person. It's just about funerals. Ein Stein, der deinen Namen trägt, tief im Loch drunten oh. wirst du liegen. <laughs> This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to the newest episode of FFP. My name is Paul and this is the 75th episode recorded on the 7th of April 2018. And after a long hiatus, she is by <laughs> public demand or I guess viewership numbers. She's back. It is... Sonia Picard. Hey, Sonia. Hi. Nice to be here. Thank y you. Yeah. Nice to have you <laughs> back. We had, we, we had some... We had some talks prior to this with your with your distinct wish that you <laughs> want to be back to this yes. glorious podcast. Glorious, yes, it yes. has been too long. Yeah, it, it has. I wonder what you did without me. <laughs> you can listen back to the last 40 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of Reggie calling me names and and Jack being mad at me for making him watch porn, mm. basically. Hey, and The thing is, the thing I, I've, th th there's some false falsehood here, I think, because they both got jokes that they do on stage a lot out of this. Oh, really? They yeah. did? Yeah. Shit, I should Jack be taking notes then. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, it's, it's fascinating to find uh, the first German on my podcast that doesn't take a lot of notes. It's very, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're very against the grain. I think that's why you're also in Austria. <laughs> yeah, I have it all in my brain. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so we watched uh, Die Piefke Saga. Wonderful, loved it. Part two, Die Animation, mm. or in English, Die Animation. No, it's it's... Oh, please. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to be the next hour of your life. Yes, I know. And I won't get it back. <laughs> nope. Nope. This, this is time lost. <laughs> hey, I'm the guy who has to listen back to this and edit all of it like this bit that I'm definitely not keeping in because there is no comedic timing here. And I also don't know how I make a punchline out of the whole thing. So you never know are. how to make a punchline. Oh, <laughs> that's such a reggy thing to say. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, well, I learned from the best. Mm -hmm. What can I say? Yes. So it's the 1990 um, movie, TV movie made for Austrian and German TV featuring both equal parts Austrian and equal parts Germans. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you as a German were from the get-go were like, mm, where are they from? Like you were <laughs> like that's 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 how little I have contact with Germans in general. I, I knew that they were speaking in a German a a dialect, but I couldn't figure out where they really were from. Like just north of Bavaria. That's yeah, all I that knew. That is exactly the point. And I've been here for almost 10 years, uh -huh. and it's always the same with Austrians. Whenever they try to imitate the way a German speaks, they have this kind of very weird mixture between the Berlin dialect and the Ruhrpott mm -hmm. dialect, which makes absolutely no sense. And uh, it was just Again, like that in the movie. my crackpot theory, you were like, no, this is not how it happened, that the mom is from Ruhrpott and no. the dad is from Berlin. Because she doesn't have a Ruhrpott accent. No, she doesn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, yeah, this is falling down like a house of cards after, absolutely. The, after, after the, the, the whole Me Too thing. <laughs> house of cards <laughs> reference, because... I didn't watch it. Oh, uh, okay. It's 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 pretty good. I mean, yeah, I heard. I now, heard. Now you now you have to. Uh, now you have to continuously think about Kevin Spacey and yeah. the thing, so you don't want to watch it. Yeah, I mean, 
it's kind of fun to have your first gay president because he's president in like season two or three he uh -huh. becomes president spoiler alert for those uh, who haven't watched it yeah yet. like a, a thing that came out three years ago <laughs> <laughs> and they they yeah so kevin spacey as a gay president who molests younger boys would have been very interesting <laughs> oh my god <laughs> we're five minutes into this and you're already talking about child molesting <laughs> i mean i don't know what's wrong with you paul uh, yeah. <laughs> it always seems to go in I'm that gonna, direction I'm, gonna cut this off. I'm not i'm not giving reggie the satisfaction <laughs> um so yeah we we it's it's all about this german family who goes to vacation all the time yes in, in tyrol it seems like all the time like it was the same with uh, dirty dancing i uh -huh. don't know if you remember that but it also always felt like how long have they been on holiday for <laughs> has it been like three months i think was the last time i saw dirty dancing i was eight. Oh, <laughs> that's I, sweet i saw it on a vhs at a friend's house because <laughs> i wasn't allowed to see dirty dancing <laughs> Dad, you can't hold me. <laughs> no, it was actually my mom. My mom was my dad was the cool, the cool dad, and my mom was like, "You have to stop playing Game Boy for like you get your two hours per day, which is okay. very generous." Yeah, I think, think so that. too. Yeah, yeah, it's not especially yeah, what be batteries cost back then. Mm -hmm. And the, the the I had the pocket, the black oh, and the white, but okay. the small one. Yeah, and that one lasted for what? six hours maybe mm -hmm. on four batteries <laughs> <laughs> that was like what 70 shillings or something like yeah. that or 100 shillings worth of batteries we actually figured out a trick to like revive them which back looking back very dangerous now put, put them, them on the heating yes yeah. exactly no that you should you shouldn't heat up batteries it's like the one thing that's on the label is really like, don't heat them up yeah but I, if you put, just put it on the heater it's not so bad uh -huh. the problem is we have uh central heating and we had back then an oil kettle which just produced 95 degree warm water okay well then maybe not y yes yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> super hot so that was very stupid looking back we could have burned down the whole house oh shit <laughs> with batteries but hey it didn't happen no no you're no, still no, here no, we're still here and you know that's why you enjoy this podcast for mm -hmm. the one reason <laughs> and um let's go to the first segment and that's plot. it starts off with a winter scene Oh, yes, yes, it does with uh, somebody getting caught in a, what's it called? Daddy Satman. Daddy what? Satman was, was or what, who's called Who, him? Karl Friedrich, is yeah, it not yeah, Karl yeah. Friedrich? Daddy, Daddy yeah. Satman, yeah. Mm -hmm. He gets caught on the ski lift. Oh, God. Because he has to redeem the full value of the ski lift pass, <laughs> which is such a dad thing to do. My dad did the same thing when we were kids. Like, he was like when i was a kid he was like all right we have this till 6 p.m we're mm -hmm. gonna drive till 5 55 and then we're gonna take the last the last ski lift up there so we can do like the full redemption value it's such a cheap thing to do absolutely and it's also such a german thing to do like yeah. when you're in a movie and it's bad and you just want to leave but you don't because you paid six euros for the ticket yes so you're just going through three hours of a really bad movie that mm -hmm. you hate yeah but because you paid for it so or or theater performances or, same thing there yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they're never walkouts it's mm -hmm. it's so fun the only time i had a saw a walkout was during um what's his name again last from last von trier's uh movie antichrist okay where uh, uh the main protagonist uh banks uh the main female protagonist in the shower and you see full penetration in slow-mo while a baby tumbles to death though i i heard that that was actually fake yeah, yeah. everybody no, no, thinks was, it was real yeah, yeah, but it wasn't standards. those yeah. were standards mm -hmm. but still hot 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 sex in contrast to a baby dying pretty creepy yeah pretty creepy is. and people walked out of this movie which is I, understandable oh totally yeah, yeah i totally okay. get it i totally mm -hmm. get it my 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 uncle and my aunt actually walked out the out of the uh, meaning of life from Monty Python. Why? Christians. Ah, uh, ooh, <laughs> they, they should have out. known better. The, no, my 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 dad and my mom pranked them. <laughs> <laughs> they were like saying that it was a really good movie. Oh no! And they knew they were super Christians. 
Ooh. That's a pretty good practical joke, though. Uh, yes, it is. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's like sending Reggie to a heartfelt te- documentary about the <laughs> about the benefits of being nice. <laughs> the benefits of being nice. Okay. Yeah. Right. That, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That 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 allegory st- holds up. Mm-hmm. I think so. Yes. Cool. <laughs> Let's go back to the. <laughs> Let's plot. go back to this. Sp- yeah. so, so he gets stuck there and is half frozen to death. By the way, this is again a one and a half hour movie. And I must say, as much as I enjoyed it, but it was a little long. It has a, yeah. its slow Ooh. moments, especially when, like in the in the in the first third, where Gunnar impregnates his uh, uh, mountain love. Yeah, mountain love. Oh, I like how you say that with that face. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, it's like it's like a, 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 a broke back mountain, but straight. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> oh yes, yeah, it is. and he he. Yes, he he bangs one of the Tyrolean waitresses. Wa- yeah, yeah. I, oh, she's a waitress. Yeah, waitresses, mm-hmm. and they don't use a condom. Idiot. Idiot. Yeah. Was there no AIDS in the nineties? Yes, I think the nineties were course. all about AIDS. Yes, exactly. Double stupid. Double you know? stupid. And especially, you shouldn't put your cock in a, into a third world's pussy without protection. You know. Third world? Oh, it is third world. Well, thank some, thank some, you for saying that, talking some, about Austria. Yeah, no, 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 that is definitely one of the aspects that they t- t- try to, uh, like, in the, in the contrast between Tyrol and Germany, the highly industrial parts of Germany, like hmm. Berlin, for yeah. example, this is third world. They, have, they don't have the, the same amount of infra- infrastructure. Population density is obviously not possible because of the mountains. There's, it's, it's hard to uh, produce goods and ship them off and all that mm. stuff. And that was still an issue in the 90s, in the early 90s. And yeah, it, it uh, 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 definitely was put, trying to, the movie was trying to portray the contrast between rich and poor in the context of, of both being first world nations but there is still a difference even in that classification i think you're reading too much into this <laughs> too much symbolism yes yeah i was reading a, i mean i'm reading into <laughs> that's my job you have been doing this for too long obviously <laughs> i have to quit I, stop the podcast I, like i have a wall with like a lot of pictures and red threads going between them it's yeah. like it has to work out this there has to be a bigger plan here <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I can just see you do that. <laughs> like that's why I'm losing my hair. It's just because I'm crazy. I'm glad I mean, this is just episode 75. Yeah. <laughs> but episode 100, I oh, I don't want to see you then. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks for that. That's going to happen this year. I know, I know. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um Maybe I'm gonna make it happen around my hundredth, uh, my hundredth birthday, my thirtieth okay. birthday. hundredth birthday. I'm so old. <laughs> <laughs> I look good for a hundred year old. Oh yes, you do. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I really in shape. I look no one day older than seventy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, they stay there for for the winter time and but that's only like the first 10, 15 minutes and because also, the rest is in the summertime. Yeah, when they come back and. Because I guess they, they are... I think they have no jobs. Creatures really. of habit. No, they are super rich. Again, yeah, because Carl Friedrich says he's in engineering, of course, because he's German. No, he has and a huge company. He has yeah, a but huge how company. does he get to go on holiday that often for such a long time? Because... Uh, I mean, I think they, they only... He said... He's, she, the, the girl he climbed with, she said she was there for 12 days. And he said... He wants to do all of the peaks, so I'm guessing two weeks that they stayed there. You think? Yeah, time is very hard to, it's to really follow hard, yeah. here because it's all in the summertime, the, the like 80% of the movie, and you don't get a real sense of the passing of time, really. That's the exactly only it. difference is that the girl gets from very, a little pregnant to yeah. very pregnant. Yeah, well, she's seven months. Yeah, but seven or nine months that's, yeah, that's kind of what it looks like so uh, yeah they must have been there for two months wow yeah i know it's nice being rich <laughs> it's nice being rich i guess it, it makes sense because gunnar was still in school how long is summer break in germany six weeks oh okay yeah so that that makes sense that he's out of school that long yeah so he doesn't look like he still goes to school he said that he was still going to school i know but everybody I mean, looks failed, a little older he failed like three or four times <laughs> 
was a higher grade. He couldn't go Must up have. of grade. But no, generally, I think that the casting choices. It's the first choices, time he tries the abitur. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> Now, Which is the SATs for the American listeners? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, the, the, the casting choice is very interested, interesting here yeah. because the, the, like all the time you think that person must be older. Yeah, and then they look killed. a lot older than, than they actually are or talk about being. Again, I think it's also 90s makeup and 90s lighting yeah. for a TV movie mm -hmm. that doesn't, you, you don't look good on that. No, you didn't look good at that in those times. Yeah, no. especially mm -hmm. the night shots where they, where, where it goes super great that's i guess cinematography so yeah, let's, let's yeah. talk about it's that later um so they they stay there Gunnar gets the girl pregnant that's one big plot point the other big big plot point is that daddy Karl Friedrich, um, um tries to climb as many uh, uh mountain peaks as he can mm -hmm. and that culminates in him bribing a tyrolean to l basically lift him up a mountain <laughs> <laughs> And he, he also uh, dabbles in drug abuse by, by doing steroids. Oh, yes, yeah. that. Yeah, 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 which is definitely how it works. Even though his son almost goes to prison for being caught in a marijuana field yeah, that yeah. happens and also, to grow in the also mountains the, somewhere. The, yeah, the, no, no, that actually happens. Like, that, that's why actually a lot of Austrian production of weed is happening in the mountains is it's very hard to access by the police yeah and that's nobody true. checks really mm -hmm. deep in the mountains so nobody it, cares either. yeah and in the summertime you get three months of proper sunlight and everything so that's yeah. enough for one harvest mm -hmm. i know way too much on that topic uh, you do you do <laughs> and no but also the police that, don't listen to your podcast yeah that's true yeah <laughs> <laughs> that would be so weird like yes the, the <laughs> <laughs> there's like a of the crime, cyber crime division there's a dedicated hey hey franz or whoever is listening <laughs> in on this <laughs> herr kommissar es tut mir sehr leid aber ich muss über diese themen reden <laughs> just talking to my you know my police dog mm -hmm. um and They, the, also, the Mariana field is so lackluster. It's like the It shittiest, is the shittiest plantation, plantation ever, ever yeah, in the you, history you of Mariana. The, you harvested the whole thing in like, what, two seconds? And <laughs> also, like, it, it, There's it looks nothing like. nothing to harvest. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It looks like he never watered these plants. Yeah. They all look really sad. And then I love the question when he says, Do you get shit out of this? Yeah, uh, shit is a German expression. Yeah, though, I know. So, um, I guess it would be uh, black tar. That's well, one, that's hashish. An yeah, or hashish. 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 <laughs> yeah, hashashinen. Yeah, anyway, with those plants, you can never get a decent amount of hashish. No, no, like a, like half a gram, maybe. Not even. Yeah, like, again, very shitty plants. Mm -hmm. And they get caught immediately by the cops who <laughs> don't have anything better to do than stake out these three plants. <laughs> Like they're sitting there probably for two weeks already, and they're like, "Ooh, ooh, they are," and and the, the one guy is actually watering the plants so that when the guy comes back, he stays with the plants. So mm -hmm. The cop actually helps them grow them. No, they no. must have gotten a hint from someone. Yeah, of course. It's mm -hmm. in, in the middle of the mountains. They're not checking up on this. That's mm -hmm. definitely a, a typical snitch. Probably a seventy-year-old grandma who was like. Probably looking for magic mushrooms. No, you know what? I think it's Karl Friedrich's affair. Ooh. Yes. Ah, that German bitch. <laughs> ah. That German overachiever with a fucking silver needle. Yes, with the white Whoa. band. Yes, with the, with white, the white band. band. Very important. Mm -hmm. Yes, so Karl Friedrich also meets on his hike tour. He meets a very attractive, for a German, a very attractive oh, woman. Oh, come on. <laughs> No, in For the 90s, she's very attractive. Oh, yes. Maybe we should say it like that. Yes, yes. She's 90s hot. 90s hot? She's 90s hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like <laughs> moon boot hot. Moon boot. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And Re shoulder kids, pads. Kids, remember moon boots? <laughs> If not Google them. They're actually pretty hilarious. Mm -hmm. How was that ever a trend? They're so impractical. You have to clean them because they drag all the mud yes. inside. And they, they are just... They don't insulate better than any other shoe that's insulated on the inside like any other normal fucking shoe. <laughs> I love moon boots. Yeah, you have them? Yeah, of course I yeah, do. Yeah, you had moon boots? I was a 90s kid. Yeah, me too. I didn't have moon boots. Yeah, because you were in Austria. 
No, the moonboot was popularized by an Austrian. Oh, really? I didn't know yes. that. Okay. Yes, uh, the skier who became a singer, what's his name? Uh, and Stern, der deinen tra Namen trägt. Um, uh, 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 <laughs> what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Oh, God damn uh, it. Uh, uh, he's really, ich bin so schön, ich bin so toll, ich bin der Anton aus yeah, Tirol. Well, that's DJ Ötzi, but that's not ein Stein, ah, der no, no, Stein, no, Stein, no, Stein no, deinen Namen trägt. <laughs> <laughs> That stone over there, that headstone <laughs> where, with your grave. Yeah, that's that's that name. It has your name. <laughs> yeah, it has your name on it. So <laughs> it's a super dark song about oh. you killing a person. It's just about funerals. Einstein, der deinen Namen trägt, tief im Loch drunten oh. wirst du liegen. <laughs> Oh, where is this going, Paul? Uh, what, what's his name? What's his name? We, sh we should know that. We both should know uh, his name. No, I think it's good that we don't know this. This is a piece of information that I don't want in my head. Mm -hmm. There's more important stuff here. Yes, there's more important stuff because there are no moon boots in this movie. There's a lot of so neon. So the Austrians came up with the moon boot? No, no, I don't think they came up with it. They popularized it. That's but a, there's isn't a difference. That, I think that's kind of nice. Like Austrians thinking, okay, guys, we have to face the fact we're never going to land on the moon. <laughs> let's, let's just get, just, get moon boots. <laughs> let's just do something else. Austria landed on the moon boots. <laughs> <laughs> we are pioneers in moon boot technology. <laughs> We can make everybody believe that we invented them. Yes. Would that be something? I mean, that's the same thing with like everything we do. I know. Like we, we take credit for a lot of shit. Like, Which never happened here. Like Red Bull. Yeah, that's Thai. That's Thai. Yeah. And Beethoven. Yeah, German. Yeah. And what else is there? Uh, technically, Mozart is not Austrian because he was born in Salzburg, which was ruled by not an Austrian head of state, but uh, uh, somebody from the church. So... Well, okay. that's that's yeah. it was no. They, I mean, Salzburg on its own had a war with Bavaria, hmm. and the rest of Austria never had anything to do with it. Hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, Mozart balls are probably also not from Austria. Mozart balls are they called Mozart balls? I don't know. Man. I don't think so. Mozart, Mozart Kugel, Mozart, Mozart balls, balls. that I, adds such a new dimension yeah, to it, that. <laughs> <laughs> At least two dimensions, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will never eat them again. <laughs> but they're so delicious. They are delicious. And they're I not love hairs on them. Balls. Like they're, they're Whoa! <laughs> and they're brown, brown balls, yeah? <laughs> Very oh. delicious. And it has a little nut inside. There's a little pistachio center. <laughs> yeah. A core, sorry. Yeah, nut yeah. core. A nut core. <laughs> okay, so a Back plot. Back to topic, um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we have, that is the one storyline. The other storyline is basically... Um, um, those are the two main ones but then you have also the struggle of the Tyrolians of trying to get trying to into survive. the pants of mm -hmm. all the Satmans literally and figuratively oh I thought you were going to talk about like what it's like to work in winter and summer like oh, 18 yeah, hour yeah, shifts also, yes, and yes, something that's, that's also a very big thing yeah. is the, the, just the exhaustion that mm -hmm. this, this crazy cycle um, um, put some people yeah. the, the stress like we have basically three meltdowns mm -hmm. <laughs> in the movie absolute of people but overworked and suffering from PTSD as a feminist though issues. I must say yeah. why is it only the women that have these meltdowns because the men beat the women that's how they, that's how their release works yeah. unrealistic huh? <laughs> unrealistic yeah no no they should I mean you had Joe Joe had a breakdown in front of the uh, mother Satman I that was not a breakdown. That was just a that's, very, very that's a, bad that's, approach to sex. No, I don't think he banged her. I think I he, think he banged her. <laughs> I am absolutely yeah, sure. Yeah, oh yes, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he, it was mommy make out day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Disgusting, but also very realistic. Because again, the the whole the whole way the, this this his persona is set up as as this. Town gigolo, basically, basically, hmm. who's whoring himself, must whore himself out because it's in his contract. For everything, mm -hmm. for everything, every single aspect of his life is dominated by this, this, this crazy circle of just trying to please everybody. Hmm. 
and it's it must be yeah it's it's very well played i think he he really sells it i think his actual meltdown happens when he sits on the wall <laughs> oh no yeah playing 48 <laughs> hours of accordion <laughs> To break Suspended a world record on a rope. Yeah, yeah, in in, in like a like a basically cliffhanger, but instead, that is an absolute cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah, and he plays the accordion up there very well, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he <laughs> it's so stupid. It's but it's also the end of the movie. So it is a cliffhanger. It is a literal cliffhanger. You never know what will happen to Joe. Or well, will you? Have, I haven't have watched to, this season, yeah, uh, the, the, the third, third episode. One, yeah, you yeah. have to come back now. You are in charge of this this I show have. now. Oh yes. Will yeah, it be my series. thing? Yeah, the series oh, is now dein, now dein Ding. Dein Ding. Is that jetzt mein Ding? Dein Ding. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> We're having fun here. Mm -hmm. Oh, especially. Oh, and we have the grandfather, who also has its own storyline with first his... Um, He is a meltdown. <laughs> right from the beginning. His face, it looks like it's partially melted. It's partially <laughs> melted. <laughs> But I mean, that happens to every 80-year-old who, who constantly talks about the war and how it was better back then. Mm -hmm. uh, he is the epitome of the Prussian, I think. Oh, yes. He's the Prussian stereotype. Somebody, he is the Prussian. Yeah, he's super Prussian. And he's like uh, this... this All edges, no rounds, except when his dog dies. Yeah, Spoiler alert, guys, the dog dies. The dog dies. Well, and the dog gets murdered, actually, by the police. Of who's course. Who's also a hunter. Yeah, yeah, that was not an accident. Oh, definitely not. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mistook it for a rabbit. Sure, mm. a shepherd's dog is <laughs> a rabbit size. <laughs> Even a fox. And there weren't any wolves in the 90s. We eradicated them, like, back in the 70s. Oh, or really? 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are now back. Oh, they we are back one, in Germany too. Yeah, we have one wolf family. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Just one family. Yeah. Yeah, of A course. A lot of inbreeding. It's Austria. Yeah. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> That was a nice Austria slam. <laughs> Just like this movie, there were a lot of slams again. Like it was equally slammy against Austrians and Germans. Like it didn't. Mm. They didn't. They equally hated. Austrians and Germans, I think. It was it struck a nice balance. Like the, Yeah, I the, liked it. The Germans are assholes. Yeah, everybody are assholes. Uh, uh, yeah, every, <laughs> technically everybody's assholes, but in different ways. The Germans are the entitled fucks and the Austrians are the, the, the Arschkriecher, the, mm. the the guys who dig up the the, 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 the <laughs> There is no the, the, equivalent the, the, in the English language. Have to translate well, idiom uh, brain malfunctioning, god damn it. Uh <laughs> Crawl up the asses, sure. Yeah, it, it's there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They crawl But up the asses longer. to to please them in every, mm -hmm. literally, any way possible. Drugs, alcohol, again, drugs. Milking uh, cows. Milking. Oh, the fucking hipster thing where it's the back to nature uh -huh. scene. I mean, again, I'd put too much thought into this but i'm like oh they are literally milking the customers here mm -hmm. and you were like no Paul, you're reading yeah, that, too much into this yeah, again absolutely <laughs> absolutely that was so i think that everything that happened in this movie cinematographically oh my sure, god yeah, what that, a word yeah um <laughs> yeah thanks for the applause <laughs> no i think everything was unintentional <laughs> I think that nobody thought about anything. <laughs> the camera guy was still, you know, because it's ORF. Yeah. It's probably a guy who has been pragmatized on tenure mm -hmm. for like 30 years. And he's like, I don't give a fuck yeah. anymore. <laughs> I frame this shit. I shoot this shit. And whatever comes out, comes out. And you can interpret into it whatever and, you like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a very fuck you all uh, mentality in mm -hmm. this year. It's a very fuck you mentality of the um i don't know are we already done with, with i plot? think we're pretty much done with plot nobody's going to um, understand this if they haven't seen the movie so please watch the movie before definitely. you listen to this yeah that's good put a warning in <laughs> <at> minute 30 <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't watched the movie yet do it now yes yeah this is your last chance yeah. it's only going to get worse from here <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the confidence <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, at least we're having fun. I think oh, yeah, that's we're the main having point. A lot of fun. We're having a lot of fun. Uh, uh, one, one last thing I, I, I want to say is the, the climbing action at the end was very, that very was, dramatic oh and my very God. well shot. We both had like the feeling that we were there out of our climbing experiences. Oh, yes, I loved it. Yeah, it was really well done. And the German is such a pussy. It's so yeah. good. But he also like used, he was like, yeah, let's climb the, the steepest mountain we can find here the steepest cliff and i have no practice so far he had I'm never done this right yeah, yeah yeah exactly he ditches the course because he's this overachieving german who's like mm. i can do anything if i set my mind to it <laughs> a mentality of post-war uh booming i think that's that's basically what he's trying to portray here's just this guy who grew up in the 50s and 60s with the with the mm. Wirtschaftswunder, with the economic miracle happening post-war and everything you set your mind to basically comes true because mm -hmm. you s because hard work and a little bit of cunning gets you a long ass way yeah but i think that um there are people who just don't see the point of it anymore it's really just the achievement that seems to count and for oh, that yeah. guy certainly is it's mm -hmm. just the Leistungsnadel yeah. and nothing else matters achievement needle that's what you get achievement needle that's what that uh, uh, the first time i heard that i'm like that sounds like doping again give me the, the, achievement, the achievement needle, needle. <laughs> yeah the doctor gives you the achievement needle and he does doesn't he yeah he literally gives yeah. him two two different needles to make him mm -hmm. uh, 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 um, achieve all his goals Which is also banging uh, 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 the German lady. We didn't talk about that they actually banged. They they did, but yeah. did he get an injection for that too? I mean, the anabolica definitely helps. Okay. I mean, if you overuse it, your balls shrink. That's what I heard. Yeah, it's it's true. It's true. Oh, really? Yeah, it, you had I some mean, experience with that? Not first-hand, second-hand, because I went to the gym a lot mm -hmm. when I was like 19, 20. And there were a few, like a, a, a friend, lot of guys. With a small friend of balls? mine actually t took anabolical. Yeah. And oh, really? Like he looked like a cornetto. Like, okay. Like really, like a triangle shape, and it was insane. But he was also like, yeah, I don't get it up anymore. Oh. Yep. Yep. No. No more. Uh, like I get all the chicks, but then I can only go down on them. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like. He was the perfect lover. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why women subconsciously prefer these types of guys. <laughs> It's like, I'm Because not getting they're just thinking, over by this guy. <laughs> What's in it for me? <laughs> <laughs> Tiny dick, big hands. That sounds like a good plan. <laughs> oh. oh. See, I told you this was getting worse. This is <laughs> Andrew Workout. That is clay. Hey. Oh. Oh. Okay, so Karl Friedrich is on steroids. Yes, That's he's on steroids and he bangs her in the <laughs> sleeping bag. In the sleeping bag. Have yeah. you, by the way, have you ever done that? Uh, sleeping bag sex? Let me. Yes. Really? Yes. Did it work? Uh, yes. Again, <laughs> I felt very much at heart with Karl Friedrich at okay. that moment. I'm like, yep, this is exactly how it turned out for me. A lot of sweating because it's like a lot of insulation that you have around your body Whoa. and then you basically don't have anything where the air can escape to mm -hmm. so it's just that the heat from the grinding just also oh, like there's aqua planning between the two basically yeah mm -hmm. it's, and then you 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 have to air out the bag afterwards otherwise you are in a stinky Uh. like a tube sock basically for your whole body <laughs> yeah it's not it's not i learned from my mistakes okay yeah i can <laughs> see that Friedrich didn't he started banging her in the fucking uh, 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 uh um the lager in, yeah i in, don't know what that is in the, english the, the stock or the the yeah it's like it's like a dorm storage, really the storage unit, yeah the mm -hmm. storage room yeah he where all the other people slept and then mm -hmm. we had that brilliant moment where the one woman was <laughs> like buddhats wenn's wieder zarsets The ham sets. The ham. The ham, which, which, which does, which means, yeah, just fuck when you're home, which they can't because they are cheating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're definitely uh, peak lovers. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> And it's, uh, it, uh, yeah, I, I think they both deserve each other. Absolutely. Yeah, it's it's a very very much like a romance between two very shitty people. Will they meet again? By the way. Um, 
I won't spoil it oh, for please. you. I, don't, I won't oh, spoil it for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm I'm the new face of this series anyway, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to see it. Oh, nice. Okay, looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're hooked now. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, you're hooked now. I can lend you the, so you can watch the first episode. Oh, yes. Yeah. I have Smart. to. Yeah, so you have all the background info. And the first episode is really well done, mm. too. So, um, um, so, oh, uh, Karl Friedrich also casual domestic violence. He just hits his son in Snaps a bar. Snaps his son in a bar. Yeah, he was actually an adult. Yeah, exactly. Like, full face, and open hand, And it seems to be no problem slap. for anybody. No, nobody gives a fuck. I mean, they don't give a fuck when the granddad says she heil. Yeah. <laughs> which is crazy. She heil. And actually, everybody joins in. Yes, mm -hmm. everybody. Because the room is filled with fucking Germans and complacent Austrians. Again, an allegory of the Second World War II. Where it's just like the Austrians are like, okay, I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, the thing is now under other circumstances, I would say that again, you're reading too much into this, but I'm, yeah, I think you're this, right. In this case, the symbolism yeah. holds up, right? Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they are uh, knuckle deep in, 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 in Wiederbetätigung. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the, uh, Germany has the same law. No, it, yeah. it's a little bit it's a little bit harsher worded in Germany than in Austria. It's stricter because certainly. because uh, for example a lot of what it means you can't say shit uh, positive shit about the Nazi Empire, which to be fair positive shit. Yeah, it's brown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what's positive shit? Yeah, it is saying like the roads were pretty cool and Hitler wasn't that bad and all that <laughs> stuff, and that's. Again, that's Wiederbetätigung. This is satire, by the way, guys. I'm just saying what other people are saying. It's, oh. They're so sensitive now. They fucking... Uh, did you hear about the Scottish comedian, the YouTuber who got... Uh, um, c was, like, lost a, a case against the state because he made his dog do the Hitler salute? I did not hear that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And that was definitely a joke. Yes. And really funny. And definitely not pro-Nazi, but the Scottish uh, court ruled that it was pro-Nazi. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, my God. Crazy. Uh-huh. Crazy. Like, they have UKIP in the government, hmm. and, then, <laughs> and then they have this YouTube guy, and they prosecute yeah, him. It's they so must draw a line somewhere. Yes, YouTube. <laughs> that's where it's That's at. where yeah. <laughs> That just went too far. Yes, and uh, and this is definitely that would have been already wieder mm -hmm. It's just unironically saying a Hitler slogan adapted, but still a Hitler slogan mm -hmm. in a public space in Austria. That's again, it flies because nobody talks shit, nobody snitches. That's mm -hmm. the one part where I'm like, ah, fuck. Also, the police is pretty pretty brown. So. Oh, yes, they are. Again, France, I'm not saying that about you, who is still listening in probably to the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but there are some guys who are... I mean, the, the, the best uh, example for this uh, was the last election because mm -hmm. you get the... On Google Maps, you get the re results mm -hmm. on uh, the different uh, voting districts. And okay. there's one voting district in Otterkring mm -hmm. um, which is just a uh, uh, public housing for police officers. Oh, and really? That's, and that's its own voting district. Its own district. district. Okay, and so you can... it's 80% FPÖ. Oh, shit. <laughs> really? Yes. yes. Oh, see, this is the kind of information that just makes me so sad. Uh -huh, why why yeah. do you give this to me? I, because I can't change it anyway, so... Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cops are just, you know, they get had in that fashion and they are... Stuck, they, they get with the vitamin B because they, they, the FBO has a big gun lobby too and the police force is a big buyer of Glock guns. Hmm. So there's a natural connection right there. Glock is uh, sponsoring FBO hmm. like heavily. Hmm. Why do you think Norbert Hofer has a Glock? Always. He always conceal carries, which is insane in Austria. I mean, he has a conceal carry license, but still... Yeah, Fuck that you, is dude. insane. Fuck you, dude. Whoa. Yeah, because it's so hard to get that license. Like, you have to have special gun training. You have to have... Oh, really? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. There's, like, a lot of things that go into it. But my bet is that he's, like, bribed somebody. Yeah. Or, and, I, I mean, this is all conjecture at this point. And, again, France, I'm not saying 
that he actually bribed somebody. This is just conjecture. I know you don't know the word conjecture because you're Austrian, but it... <laughs> Spekulation. Yeah? Nicht Spekulatius. That's a cookie. <laughs> I think we should really go back, back to, the to the sleeping bag sex. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was more interesting, definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did try no, it twice. No, it just didn't get me so upset. <laughs> so you never tried sleeping bag sex? No, no. Ah, okay. That's still on my list of things to do in my life. Oh, really? It's yeah. actually on your bucket list? Uh, mm. Fuck it list? Fuck it list. Yeah, your fuck it list. Uh. I have a fuck it list. Oh, please don't show me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's in an Excel spreadsheet. It's in a spreadsheet? <laughs> It's in three columns, like, you know, planned, executed. Did you make successful. a diagram as well? Of course, yeah, 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 of course yeah, yeah. I did. want to uh, uh, um, keep my progress in check because, I mean, at some point a man can't just, you know, achieve certain things anymore mm -hmm. that are potentially on a fuck it list, mm -hmm. just that are physically impossible. When you've taken some, steroids. For example, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, again, he stopped doing that, my friend okay. stopped doing them and then his b balls came back. Ah. Oh. But still, he was like, this was... Are you talking about a friend? <laughs> no, I was never a Cornetto. No, 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 no. I wish, I wish. I would have bragged about that. I would have bragged. Don't worry. There would have been pictures on Facebook about this. Where I'm like, look how fit I am, girls. Yeah. You would have seen that on my Tinder profile. <laughs> oh, really? I still haven't seen your Tinder profile, by the way. Yeah, I mean, I mean... What is wrong with this app? Yeah, bad app. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a big bag of bad apples or maybe it's just saving the best for last yeah exactly that's how <laughs> tinder works you get the, if you go to the end there's the best guy <laughs> you just and tinder to says okay we tried everything else here's this guy <laughs> and it's it like Matt Damon or something <laughs> It gives you the worst profiles up front. Yeah. Just to make, you okay, have to you, dig you know, for these, all the shit. These guys deserve someone too. So yeah. maybe you just have these first and then Tinder you'll see. Tinder is actually very altruistic. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> The philanthropy in Tinder is uh -huh. unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they really care about their customers. <laughs> Well, but that's, that's nice. So I have something to look forward to. Oh, that's funny. I wonder how many years I must use it for. Oh, I mean, go, go, to, go to a place of the world where there's not a lot of, where there's internet, but not a lot of people like Australia or something. Hmm. And just expand your radius and then just, I think that would be the most efficient. I think it's probably per country. You get the best person at the end in that search circle probably hmm. like there's probably a russian dude who's perfect for you but you will never know because the search radius is not 2500 miles yeah <laughs> like somebody in oh, Novosibirsk is really into you <laughs> hmm, i'll yes. take train to meet you only <laughs> that is happening in 48 hours <laughs> that must have been my the, the love of my life must yeah. be somewhere in omsk yeah <laughs> I tried to make a hot Omsk pun, but I couldn't no. think of one. <laughs> you couldn't think of a pun? Oh my god, I uh, have to... Hotski Trotsky. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Wasn't he from Omsk? I thought Trotsky was from Omsk. Really? I th I might, uh, any famous I'm person wrong. was from Omsk? No, not every, but... No, any. Oh, any. <laughs> I don't know. Genghis Every Khan, famous. Genghis Khan maybe li lived in the neighborhood maybe when he was younger. <laughs> you know, riding his horse around, raping women and stuff. You know, just, <sighs> just you know, just Khan shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he can't Khan. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, you hated that so much. <laughs> I think we have to do cinematography oh, next. Oh, yeah, 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 yes, yes. Cinematography! Did you do that voice for plot too? Yes! I forgot! Yes! I'm putting always a sound effect behind it! Oh! Yes! Normally, I sound like a bad version of the count. Ah, 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 ah. From Sesame Street? What is going on in your head? <laughs> 
I don't know. Sometimes you're just on another planet. And I wish I could follow, but yeah, most sorry. of the time, sorry. I don't know. No. Oh, no, because <laughs> the, the count always uses a device like this. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes, now yeah. I remember. Oh, One, sorry. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, two, ah, ah, ah. It was too long ago. The count at a gangbang. Mm. One, ah, oh. ah, ah. Two, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh. He counts the penises that are inside him. Yes, him. yes, I know, I know, I got it. <laughs> Because he's a puppet oh. and he can fit a lot in that. <laughs> There has to be somebody who at some point had sex with one of the Sesame original puppets. Like they had to be unaccounted for a day and some drunk guy stumbled in and he's like, ooh, I like Bernie or something. <laughs> Definitely. Something I don't want to think about. I mean, oh, that's a, that's a brain teaser for you. Anything you probably ever used... Somebody might have chased on it. Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> you definitely touched some cum already. Like, it's, at the latest, school, bathroom stalls. Like, high school, bathroom stalls. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Like, in my, in my school, people banged in the bathroom school. Oh, they did? Okay. Bathroom school. <laughs> bathroom <laughs> school? Special school. It's made out of bathrooms. It's, it's for the diuretic children. There's, on the, every table there's a toilet. <laughs> it's all stalls. Or well, maybe it's just where you just learn things about bathrooms. <laughs> yeah, that could. Yeah, I mean. And then after 12 synergy. years of education, there's, there's you will synergy. be the best plumber in the world. Yeah, they can train mm. on their own toilets. Yes. They are toilet trained. <laughs> <laughs> Please let me get out of this. And you're coming back for the third. I know. Yeah. Why did I agree to and this? And I think we're not going to skip 30 episodes this time. Mm, I mean, I mean you, you and Monica are the only reason why women even watch this. Oh, really? Uh -huh. We are? Yeah, yeah, you are the ones with the... Of course. What, we're role models? Yeah, yeah you're, you're, the, Shit. you're the female guiding light opposite to an Austrian shithead. <laughs> I've never felt that much responsibility in my life. Oh, you already said some feminist shit. I did? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> Tick that <laughs> off. All right. Done. <laughs> Let's talk about those cunts. <laughs> um, I think so some part of us doesn't want to talk about cinematography. Um, I mean, there's a lot of neon clothing. It's very bright. Neon clothing. Yeah, I liked it too. Like, oh. it, it all looked like markers. Like, they all have wore those, uh, those pelican markers, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, it's br bright neon yellow, bright neon pink, bright neon green. It's just those three colors over and over and again, over again. Yes. Except for the old Germans who are in the drabest clothing ever. Like, like this traditional grays and browns whoa. and I guess whites. And forest green. Yes, and a lot of forest green. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And they, it, 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 the cinematography, again, we talked about this already, but they phoned it in to a certain degree, except for, in my opinion, the climbing scene. Because every time he looked down, you were like, ah! And that portrayed the feeling of that, how steep it is. I thought that was actually for a TV movie, really from the 90s, <laughs> always in context, <laughs> always in context. This would be cinematography r right now. This would be horse shit. Absolutely. I was just going to say that. I yeah. mean, what, what was it? No, it doesn't Please. have anything to do with modern TV movie editing. Nothing. Not at all. No, And it was also... Long scenes. As much as I love the scene, but it was way too long. There could have been so much more suspension. Literally. I mean, I mean yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it too now. Oh, shit. It's You're infectious. infected. Yes. Oh, no. Cut off the hand while it's... <laughs> oh... Actually, the word is suspense, right? Yes. Yeah. No, uh, but suspension is still the feeling in the movie. Yeah. I thought I just made it up. No, 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 no you're good. You're good. Ah, yeah. I would have loved to make something up. I like coming up with new words, mm -hmm. especially in other languages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, you already so did something for, for, like, for your English comedy? Coming up with new words? Yeah. No, but I have to. Yes, I yeah. think so too. I've, there, there are a lot of words in the German language Except for like the basic stuff, like Welshmelts and all that stuff, and, mm -hmm, and, yeah. all, and Schadenfreude. And yeah, but we stuff. know all that. But, and but you, you should like there are, there are words in the German language which are so much better 
than in, in, in English. Of course, yes. Just then again, of in the English, way that, that, it. Huh? That, this is the same applies to English, I must say. There are some yeah, words. Yeah, because they steal all the words from all the other languages. Yeah, yeah the, they just, just take the best. That's how English <laughs> works. They just like, puto pendejo, I'll take that. Thank you very much, Spanish. I'm like, you're oh, Weltschmerz and Schadenfreude. Thank you, Germany. Yeah, uh, Raison d'etre and like f- freedom fries. Thank you very much, French people. What, freedom fries? Yeah, after 9 11 because the French wouldn't ev- invade Iraq with the in the coalition of willing a lot of Americans stopped calling them French fries and started calling them freedom fries really because Americans are stupid cunts uh. as per example <laughs> yeah let's get racist oh yeah yeah against US Americans Canadians you're cool but US Americans <laughs> yeah yeah they're stupid cunts sometimes It's just the truth. Nice that now you said sometimes. I have too many American friends. <laughs> yeah, to be really and not anymore, I think. <laughs> no, they, they don't listen to this. <laughs> 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 They're not that good of a friend. <laughs> the police won't listen to your podcast. Your friends won't listen to your no, podcast. Who listens to this who? podcast? Indians. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. A fourth of my audience in some videos is Indian. Oh. For some reason. No Pakistani. Yeah, of course. Why. I mean, if it's you can always win either the Indians or the Pakistanis. Right, would, that's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I had Ali Hasnan on twice, mm-hmm. and he's half Pakistani, half Indian. Oh, yeah, yeah. great mixture. Yeah, yeah. And he speaks with a Viennese dialect, which is hilarious. I can picture that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he don't talk like this, you know. <laughs> his dad talk. His dad and his mom both talk like this. It's hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. Okay, that's now we have our racist quota fulfilled. She had. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh that's, let's go back to the climbing scene. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. Um, yeah, that, I thought that was really well shot in general. It, the, the, you you definitely saw the. I mean, they they did the trope where they just shot a leg or a hand. Yes, yes, I like just that. So, so it, you see that it, he oh he's slipping, oh he's slipping. You know because. I mean, that was aired on TV in mm-hmm. ORF in 1990. People had TVs this size. So I yeah, guess we okay. had to see what's happening. Mm-hmm. So they used this, this, this method of portray. It's still super lazy. It is absolutely lazy. Yeah. But then what I like when it gets, you know, towards the end, they have this idea of all the people you meet on a wall. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, that was great! Like the the, the, the teacher at first with yes. the the, uh, the what the, was that? The Waldstirbt. The Waldstirbt. Yeah, the, the the forest is dying. He's the hippie. He reoccurs exactly for five seconds. He had a bigger part in the first. Part. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he 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 just appears for five seconds, does his thing, and then just to ju- make a point, and, and then he fucks off. He's yeah, like, where, where is he? And he just leaves. <laughs> You're on top of a mountain. <laughs> And he just Where does he up. go? It's, it's just he totally vanishes into He's thin like air. The Sasquatch, the Austrian Sasquatch, who just like appears and disappears, and nobody where he really is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the next one we see is actually Joe, I think. Yes, playing accordion yeah. for 48 hours. Yes, in in a in a cliff. In a cliff. Yeah. yeah. So so he breaks a world record again. The funniest fucking mo- moment in the whole movie. That was, we both yeah. laughed out loud. Oh, yes, yeah, it was. It mm-hmm. was so absurd. And the contrast of watching Satman and the Tyrolean walk up that cliff for 15 hours or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they are like close to death, especially Karl Friedrich. Mm-hmm. And then they pan up and have that him playing up there. Hilarious. <laughs> and then the rest of the then family. Then the rest of the family. And then how the did Asian you get- dude. Then yeah. the Asian dude with the camera who's like just over the cliff and he's like, how did you get up there? And they're like, there's a, there's a, there's a gondola going up. <laughs> But I like how, how there's like this Asian appearance in that movie uh-huh. that everybody was waiting for. Don't you worry, there's more Asian to come. Oh, and nice. Yes. <laughs> nice. Asians. Oh, Another I minor- love Asians. And, and, uh, <laughs> all right. Do we have anything more to say about cinematography? Because Not honestly, really. I, no, nah, nah. we're good. We're, we're good. good. Yeah. Sound. Mm, nice. <laughs> I find it very interesting that there is this party at the hotel where they stay, mm-hmm. and uh, everybody's 
dancing in a really weird way. Like, the German Austrian dance yeah. where they just keep it uh, like 30 centimeters apart or basically inside each other. Yeah. That's the two modes we have. Yeah. It's like sleeping back sex on the dance floor. <laughs> And and also the song that plays is Hey Joe by Jimi Hendrix. Yes. Which is the only time with any that any popular music pops up in I that. I mean it is a scene about Joe, so yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, but I, again I think that was unintentional. <laughs> But you know, every hey, Joe. Yeah, no, I think that I think the songs were were well songs. The 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 uh, classical music was very well timed at points mm-hmm. and at times super over dramatic. Mm-hmm. Like when the dog died, it was like uh-huh. that was melodramatic. Yeah, it was like oh no. I mean, it's it's also a dog died, so mm-hmm. but and it was a, it was a very moving scene. I yeah, must it's say, it's the only thing that hardcore German would have like he didn't even love his son that much. No, <laughs> I don't think so, really. <laughs> like he, he, if he had to shoot his son or his dog, he would have mm-hmm. picked. He would, he would have picked, have picked this as a son. Yes, and because he, would he have already been had right. grandkids, so that the line is secure already. <laughs> <laughs> the pure bloodline is secured. I can kill my own son because I have to preserve my dog. Was it really a good bloodline? Because after uh, bad, all, bad bloodline. It's an Austrian waitress that is involved. Uh, in. Ooh, <laughs> nice some mud blood. <laughs> <laughs> She might be a one thirty sixth Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you say thirty sixth. Thirty sixth. <laughs> this is something that no matter how well you speak English, you, you will yeah, always have a problem. With. I, I have, I have problems, definitely. Mm-hmm, me too. <laughs> um, Talk Let's just not talk about. Oh, then on that. the begin in the beginning they had when when Karl Friedrich was stuck on the ski lift they had they had him probably on a ski lift because all of his lines were eighty yard, like everything he said he recorded in a booth. Afterwards, you heard okay. that really? Like I heard that. Like it didn't. It wasn't like yeah, it, it didn't like sync it. out properly and it was too clear mm-hmm. and. They definitely had him up on a ski lift for real. Like we didn't have, they didn't have the makeup department to actually freeze him, look him frozen. So they just left him up there for the twelve hours. But also for every new shot, they would put some extra snow on him, even yes. though it wasn't snowing. It wasn't snowing. No, 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 no. It just magically appeared. <laughs> I think he was just doing a lot of cocaine and just dropping it all over his suit. Doing cocaine on a ski lift. Yeah, I mean, he probably learned that from his daddy. Mm. Because that grandfather definitely took some drugs in the Second World War. Mm-hmm. For Must have. sure. Yeah, Maschier Schokolade. Maschier Schokolade? Mm-hmm. What yeah, is that? That's uh, That was uh, military issued chocolate with. Uh, also, sorry, it was Maschier Pulver and uh, Wunder Schokolade or something. One sec. Maschier Pulver was cocaine. Mm-hmm. In the Second World War, it was issued to the German soldiers during the Blitzkrieg, especially. Really? Yeah, to be, be awake and just keep pushing the front. That mm. was the whole tactic. And the other one was amphetamines, like meth, basically. Mm. And they put that in chocolate, especially. The, the Americans did it too, especially with pilots, so they wouldn't fall yeah, asleep. Yeah, you still get that, Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Still exists. I hate that chocolate. By I the way. love it. It's so bad. Oh, it's, it's such so bad nice. chocolate. It keeps you awake like a motherfucker. Uh, yes, <laughs> but it's not good chocolate. No, it's, it's really nice chocolate. It, really, you oh, like that garbage it. chocolate? Interesting. I think this is the first thing we really truly uh, disagree upon. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's just chocolate, chocolate. that's fine. What are you saying? Just chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> We're in Austria, goddamn it! This is like a third of our of our economy is chocolate based. <laughs> Actually, there's a very interesting. Uh, no, no, not But getting derailed tr- again. Did you try the Red Bull Flieger Schokolade or did you try Coca Cola? No. Coca Cola, the original in the tin can. Yeah, with yeah, the, in the tin with can the red, with the red, white, yeah. white mm-hmm. yep. that, That's the best. Yep, didn't like it. <sighs> I don't know. I, I love chocolate. I would eat it again if somebody gives it to me, mm-hmm. but I won't go out of my way to buy it. I love it. Yeah, buy it Intr- in- <laughs> for you. <laughs> When is your birthday? I actually get paid by Coca Cola. Really? <laughs> You're doing a product placement in my show? God damn it. I have to step up my game here. 
<laughs> All right. Um, yeah, then we have we have the so the ADR on the sh ski lift, which was hilarious. Then we have a lot of alpine music, a lot of mm -hmm, a lot of accordion. Look and, and Stanzel? Yeah, the, like the yeah. Oh, oh, that's a like stanzel. It's one way to call it. It's uh, another uh, one of these Austrian words that just sounds like. Your body's trying to get rid of something. Yes. <laughs> My favorite <laughs> one is Blunzenkröstl. Blunzenkröstl. Mm. Mm. So good. <laughs> I love a good Blunzenkröstl. Yeah, but you need the same amount of Blunzenkröstl and horseradish. It's 50-50, yeah. then it's really good. Yeah. I mean, you can also get like freshly shaved horseradish, not mm. the one in the can. Oh, yeah. And that one, if you get a really nice root, is basically wasabi. Uh -huh. It's, you know, wasabi is It's related. the same thing. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not the, the same. Way, well, yeah, but the same plant. Uh, yeah. Actually, the most wasabi you get here is just horseradish with uh, green coloring. No, really? Uh -huh, yeah. Really? Uh -huh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's, that's sad. Yeah, no, if you imagine your taste, the taste of horseradish, uh, like of wasabi, And then go to a proper Japanese restaurant mm -hmm. and get like real wasabi and you know the difference. Okay. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I, the first time I ate it was not in Vienna. It was actually in Vancouver because they have such a big Japanese minority there. Mm -hmm. And they have like a shit. That, that, that's the fast food restaurant in Vancouver mm -hmm. is sushi. Because okay. Because they have the fish right there. Uh-huh. They live yeah, it's sure. right by the sea. Yeah. It's really cheap mm -hmm. and it's really tasty. Oh nice. And it's like made by Japanese people, not Chinese or Vietnamese or yeah. any other Asian that that makes it in Vienna. Like there are <laughs> maybe two real Japanese restaurants in Vienna. The rest is all South Koreans or defective no defect defective. Defective. Uh, defective. <laughs> no, defected. Defected north koreans <laughs> <laughs> defective not i mean every north korean is defective if you think about it oh let's not get into this yeah yeah, yeah. kim jong il uh, un. god damn it i'm old <laughs> <laughs> kim, <laughs> kim il sung I'm, yeah i'm going i'm coming for you bitch i'm gonna <laughs> dig you up and fuck your corpse how do you like that <laughs> Oh, please. Uh, Where, how did we get... Oh, wasabi was actually... Yeah. Oh, horseradish. Oh, Blutzenkröstel. Oh, oh, oh Schokakola. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, else, I think... I mean, Joe can really play... Really play the accordion. That's also a sound thing, but that's the last thing I can... I can that's think also about. the last thing I could say about sound, really. You can, I mean, from... Apart a, from the accents. Yeah, you, you had some trouble understanding some of the Tyrolians and some of the Austrians <laughs> or some of the Germans. You didn't know how to figure out what they're saying. I mean, you can actually see that this is an Austrian director who did this yes. because I think that he just made, made people say... He didn't have the ear I, for it, I guess. Yeah, he didn't. And he, he just made his actors say, please say the word Pofen at some point. And then somebody who is not even remotely from an area where you say po Pofen has to say something like, oh, bist du noch am Pofen? Yeah, especially, especially we have Pofen. Pofen? Yeah, which What is, is that? Chicken. What? Zigaretten rauchen. Ah, Pofeln. Chick. I thought chicken. A chick, chicken. <laughs> yeah. Or Pofeln. But really, you can I, also Pofel a Zigarre. I think you Austrians come up with new words every just day confuse, just to confuse, to confuse us. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we are an eighth, uh, a tenth of the population of Germany. We have to start, stand out in some regards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We will never be the economic powerhouse you are. We will never be the part of NATO. We will never be... Well, we got the UN. You have you more passport machines. Yes. Yeah, that's true. And we also have uh, the ÖBB, which is, by all regards, better than the Deutsche Bahn. Absolutely. But everything is better than the Deutsche Bahn. So Did you know come that on. the Deutsche Bahn stopped night trains, overnight trains? What? They don't operate them anymore? What? The ÖBB does in Germany now. Really? Yeah, it's so funny. No. Train service took over the German. No. Yes. yes. Because the Germans felt it wasn't m profitable anymore. It I made, always take night trains. No, the division made money, mm -hmm. but it, they, they were like, no, it ma doesn't make enough money. So they sold it to, really? the, to the Austrians. Yeah, because the Austrians I, I gave must them a say, I'm glad. Price. Yeah, that's why you have the new paint job on the the rail shed paint uh -huh. job on the on the old trains that they took from the Germans. And they want to renew the fleet in the f next five to ten years, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there will be a successive, like you get Austrian quality trains on German railways. How nice is that? Huh? Oh, yeah. no the more. best I, combination. I fucking hate the IC 
it's, it's <laughs> such a bad train. The only good thing about it is that it's fast. Yeah, when but it it's... is fast, there's still train tracks where they can't go top speed. And then yes. you, you crawl like with 80 kilometers per hour. And, and you then think, go, why am I in a fucking ICE? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And pay the money for that too. Yeah. And then you have the railjet, which goes basically top speed until Tyrol. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, fucking mountains everywhere. It can't go 230 <laughs> kilometers in the mountains, except for Switzerland, because they have the money for it. But you know what I hate about the railjet? Mm. So you have economy and then yes. you have first class yes. and then you have something like super business. first class. Business. This That's is so stupid. Yeah, I mean, you, you Austrians are all about making some people just better than other people and especially, then some people still es- better. Especially than because the seats are shitty until you go to the top class. Yes. Even in first, in first class, class, even the first mm-hmm. class seats are not good. And I always take the rail jet from Vienna to Vorarlberg. So that's a seven. No, actually, because of the top speed now, mm-hmm. it's six hours 15, which is nice. Mm. Because when I was a kid, it was nine hours. So, okay. Yeah, that's that's a lot of time, my time saved. But it's those shitty ass seats. Actually, uh, sometimes you get an upgrade like last minute mm-hmm. for three euros. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I got, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. I upgraded once oh. for three euros. And then I was in first class and I got a Snickers bar, fun sized, not even full sized. And a, 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 a mar- not a margarita, a, a mimosa. mimosa. Oh, a margarita would have been way better than yeah, a mimosa. I would have been like, whoa, damn, guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, we have our own mixologist on board. <laughs> <laughs> mixologist, that, that is was- such a pretentious word. Yeah, cocktail ah. maker. Cocktails. Or bartender. Bartender, yes. Fancy bartender. Yeah. Bartender with a stick up. Uh, margarita yeah, up with his a ass. stick up his ass, yeah. <laughs> a German. A German. What? Bartender. German so bartender. He's a mixologist. Oh, come on. Mixologe. <laughs> Mixologe, was? <laughs> yeah, this is a three-year-old Ausbildung. <laughs> <laughs> I think in Germany you can study that kind of bullshit. Probably. I mean, the, the, there's a diploma the, for that. The sad for thing sure. is the the number one, no, the number two mixologist of uh, Europe is Austrian, hmm. and he works at TJ Fridays. Really? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh God. I mean, it's TJ Fridays. It's pretty good. Is it? it the Austrian one. I, I tried the American one. It's dog shit. Mm, the Austrian one is I actually heard. pretty decent. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Expensive. But yeah. But really good, especially if you don't get anything else but the burgers and always order bloody because when you get them bloody, you get them actually medium rare. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And if you get medium rare, you get just a medium mm. burger. And nope, that's not what I ordered. Yeah. So you always order one rung above what you actually want. Okay. Because good to know. No, they, know. they have, you know, healthy, safe and healthy things. Where they like, we have to kill all the germs. <laughs> All the germs in this bun has to be eradicated, yeah. I don't know why they have a German cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Best moment. Best moment. Yes. Okay, I, I'm sure you're going to hate me for this. No, no, no let's. Let's let's see. Let's see. <laughs> no judgment here. I mean, this is FFP. Can I without just really say what I mean? Yes, please. <laughs> um, so I think the best moment was when the dog gets shot, and nice. the grandfather, you know, kisses him goodbye. That dog was a brilliant actor. Too. Oh my god! That dog lay like dead in that ditch. He didn't move one inch you didn't even see the dog breathe it was amazing how well that dog acted you no, know, i totally get that it's your best moment it i think that was a doll you just have a stuffed dog mm. it's just a, one of the used up commissar rex yeah it just tossed in there, which doesn't work because commissar rex are aired after this because obviously tobias moretti did this first but and i then think in that movie he fell in love with german shepherds so. probably mm-hmm. yeah like they, they learned to know each other it's yeah. the same dog you know oh. he Rex. that would be so oh, wouldn't funny that be so nice oh. they actually made a tobias uh, 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 spin-off sh- uh, movie about the youth of commissar rex about the dog mm-hmm. so weird <laughs> it's like Bambi but with a shepherd dog <laughs> so weird as I have to cover as... this I hope of. oh yeah. Yeah. yeah is it as sad as Bambi 
Um, it's been a while since I watched okay. it. I was a kid and I thought it was sad, so mm-hmm. I'm guessing yes. Yeah. But I also thought that Star Trek, uh, Star Wars, was sad mm-hmm. because <laughs> because because what? <laughs> because Boba Fett died. <laughs> Okay. In the third movie, he I gets, guess that's a reason. He gets strangled by Leia to mm-hmm. death, and I was like, "No, the blob is dead." Mm. Oh. <laughs> and I was a kid, and I'm like, "I didn't see that he was the most evil guy next to yeah. Darth Vader." <laughs> I'm like, "No." You don't want anybody to die. That's yeah, yeah. totally okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah pass. You were a good kid. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Inadvertently made myself look better than Reggie again. God damn it! <laughs> and I don't even try. <laughs> Is there like a secret war going on that I don't oh, know about? Not secret. Okay, it's out in the open. Oh, it's very much out in the open. Mm-hmm. I mean, Reggie and I have a very special bond. Interesting. <laughs> yes. A bond of hateship. Or, or hate <laughs> friendship, I guess. I, uh, yeah. I, I think I would, uh, like mean girls, you know? Mm-hmm. Basically like that. Okay. Yeah, we're both mean girls. <laughs> You're both mean girls. I'm the new girl on the blog. I'm Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, uh, what's her face? Uh, uh, Lindsay Lohan. And who else? Who played the really bitchy girl? Paris Hilton. Was it Paris Hilton? I don't know. Maybe. It Actually, was just I mean, the that first thing too. that... Reggie is Paris Hilton. That makes Reggie sense. Reggie is Paris Hilton. <laughs> we can't, can't wait for that sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay, rectifying um, the situation. What was your best moment? Uh, my best moment was probably uh, the marijuana plant. Yeah, or, that was cute. Or uh, every single time. And that feeds directly into the secret category. Um, Joe's ability to do everything. Oh, yeah, I like every that too. Every single task. He's the guy for everything. Yes. He's like MacGyver, but yeah. in Austrian and for tourists. <laughs> instead of instead of fighting crime, he's just like, wait, let me fix this sh- shit with a bobby pin. Let me give you a massage. Pin. Yeah, a, mo- a bobby pin <laughs> and, and, and like a used condom and I can totally make this into a, into a table or something, you know? Mm. Yeah, he was... He was amazing every single time. Into a table? That's what you came up with? I don't know, man. Okay. A massage, massaging table. That's the the quickest Uh, thing I came up with. Mm -hmm. A dildo is the better. I don't know. (laughs) A bobby pin and a used condom. Yeah, you get it. You get it. It just pour cement into the condom. (laughs) And the bobby pin is just really just decoration. No, it's for structural integrity. You... You fold the bobby pin out and push it in the middle like a metal rod. Ah, you want to get hard in there. And uh, <laughs> don't worry, you have to only do this two more times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you if you insist on your solo appearance in the future, I do. Okay, yeah, you you want to have. I will go you, through this pain no matter what. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. That's 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 the kind of heroism I, I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Not bitching that, that around like That is also like the Reggie. German approach to things. Yes, we have to do this. <laughs> this is important. I said yes, and this is will. This is after my rules and nobody else's. How offensive is, by the way, my English Ameri- uh, English American German accent? Very very offensive. This is very offensive. Yeah. You really talk like an American who tries to desperately yes, yes. pull off a German accent uh-huh. when they have never de- heard German before or yeah. a German accent for yeah, that nee, matter. Me, me. Yeah, nee. <laughs> I don't, can't, no, I can't please even. Please don't try again. Please <laughs> In don't. German, I can't even do a German accent. Hmm. No, this is voll der dick, Alter, ne? Ja, das geht ja voll nicht in meine Birne rein. <laughs> in meine Birne. <laughs> again, the, the, the American and... Indian listeners gonna hate this part. <laughs> yeah, sorry, German. Calcutta. Yeah, <laughs> Calcutta. Shout out to Calcutta. <laughs> <laughs> New Delhi. Whoop whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Where my homeless bitches at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they will understand me. <laughs> they have the internet there, but not a home. <laughs> all they do is listen to FFP. <laughs> There's a, a homeless kid who learns German and English from FFP. <laughs> Oh. It's a really slumdog millionaire yeah, kind of story. Right. <laughs> it all started with FFP. <laughs> Dritte Weltwunder. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
just don't have any idea of how many children you saved from uh -huh. poverty. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am such an altruistic guy. Yeah, almost yeah. as much as Tinder. <laughs> I'm, I'm as nearly as close as Tinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fair. Yeah, yeah. If the World Humane Society wants to give me a, a, a medal after Tinder, I would totally accept it. Okay. I would reject it if they wouldn't give it to Tinder first. Though, you know? I mean, they're super nice. Tinder deserved this more than me. <laughs> I bring people apart, not together, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the world needs both of you. <laughs> yeah, we are the, I'm the ying to, to Tinder's the, to yang. Tinder's yang. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no, sorry. I'm the ding to Tinder's dong. Mm -hmm. Booyah! Booyah yeah. kasha! Um, all right. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. but I think we can't go on from here. <laughs> secret category now. And yeah. it's... Joe the Wonder Boy, real or fake human being? Because he does so like, come on, nobody can do. Either he's like, uh, like, like basically the modern Michelangelo, and he can do twenty different things perfectly. Or he's a droid. I'm bad at one thing already. Like. This is already the peak performance of me. I can't play the fucking accordion or give a perfect massage or uh, organize a, f a, a, a party. I actually can do that. But, mm. you know, you, you get the point. He's, yeah, yeah. he's very adept at doing all of the things. And it's not only menial tasks where it's just like, go boy, fetch me this or do that. It's like, again, playing 48 hours of accordion on the cliffside of a mountain and stuff <laughs> like that. He's crazy adept at doing all those things or he's not a real human person he like he has five clones that <laughs> it's like multiplicity M yeah maybe it's just a lot of twins yeah yeah exactly yeah, they are a all lot of twins and does that make sense a lot of twins triplets quadruplets uh, and then quintuplets 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 my queen tablets yes It sounds like a new Apple product. <laughs> the the queen, queen tablet. It's queen sized. It's, <laughs> it's 120 inches in diameter. You can sleep on our new queen pad. <laughs> And wait, this is not all. It also comes with a headphone jack. <laughs> And it can give you a massage, I'm yes. sure. Yes, vibrate function <laughs> installed right in there. Yep, 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 yep. Wake up from sleep function where it just turns on the display and heats you up from down there. <laughs> What? No, if you ever turned up a iPad tablet to full brightness and left it on uh -huh. for like two hours and then touched it, it's really hot. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's fucking LEDs in there uh. that are sealed in and there's no fan to like distribute the heat. So it does get quite hot. I don't use any eye products. Yeah, I mean either. Yeah. Except for the MacBook, yeah. the MacBook, mm. <laughs> all the all like the stuff I got. Everything that's around here. Uh, all, yeah, <laughs> this is my iWatch. It's invisible. It's the special line. Mm -hmm. It costs fifteen thousand dollars, but it's made of pure glass. It's like the Emperor's new clothes, but for <laughs> Apple products. Nice watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't tell time with it, uh -huh. but. The vibrate function is really nice. Oh, who needs watches for the time? Yeah, exactly. Please. Who has the time for that? That is so 1990s. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like a good swatch. Mm. Oh, I swatch the, was nice. I love the good swatch. Mm. I, I wouldn't wear a swatch nowadays. No, me neither. Yeah. yeah. But it used to be cool. Yeah. yeah. I had a... Like a, us. Used to be cool. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Might be true for you. <laughs> <laughs> you just high-fived me on yeah, that. Yeah, no, I wanted that high-five before I <laughs> tell the truth. I, 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 I coerced you into that high five. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Mm, I yeah. didn't no, want to okay. take high five advantage of you. <laughs> high five advantage. High five advantage. High five advantage. High five advantage. High five for fun. Who five high fives in my tom. <laughs> oh. So. Um, yeah, so Joe, probably not a hu real human person. No, or I don't think More so. than one human person. He's he's really the superhero of this movie. Maybe he he's also in a secret relationship with that other German overachiever, Leistungsnadel oh, bitch. He's banging everybody. So it must be banging her. Yeah, duh. Yeah, climbing her mountains, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 
staring down. Playing her accordion. Yes, <laughs> pushing all her buttons. Uh. <laughs> I don't know if that was arousal or no, rejection. No, that was... That was uh. <laughs> but yeah. I know it sounds the same, but it just... <laughs> Honey, are you disappointed? No, no, I'm super no, aroused. No. <laughs> Keep going. It's just the same sound, yeah. really. I know you Germans. can't tell. <laughs> it sounds like they complain during sex. <laughs> uh, I guess so. <laughs> That's a nice note to, to end it all. Yeah. Let's jump off the roof together. Final conclusion. Oh yes. Uh, good stuff, right? Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Really, really looking forward to the next ten few episodes. Ten out of ten would watch again. Ooh. I mean, I watch it now for the third time in my lifetime, mm. and I still love it. Yeah, it's, it's so sarcastic. Yeah, such a biting humor, but also with like slapsticky moments that actually work, like the end with the with the with the. The Asian guy, for example. Yeah, I like that. Like that, that was just a a nice joke that worked. And all the other stuff works for the most part. It has its slow moments. Absolutely. Like when they, when Gunnar tries to talk to the old Tyrolean grandfather, and you have like a, what, three minute scene with With two lines of dialogue. It makes no sense. Also, Gunnar washing his hair, and then you see that it, it, it's really not dyed. It's just, you know, he just sprayed the color on. Yeah, weird which, punk. Uh, so that's not a real punk. No, no. Oh, we know that he's a phony. Yeah. His dad is super rich and he still takes his money and still goes on vacation with him to fucking Tyrol. The but has most... no money for condoms. I think he has the money for condoms. I think he's just such a loser that he <laughs> thought it would he wasn't never expecting happen. This. <laughs> yeah, it would never happen for him. Huh. And then, yep, whoopsie daisy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder what that baby is growing up to be just you wait ah yeah. um nice again brilliant episode well well directed hmm. well acted like the dramatic moments for the most part you buy except for the meltdown of the mayor's wife yeah that, that was, was a little bit dramatic. of overacting there but yes. it also made sense in the context of yeah like how having a breakdown before that and then it just spirals yeah. out of control alcoholism too helps you know alcoholism always helps Nobody, with meltdowns. no normal person drinks like those two cent four centiliter mini schnapps bottles that's that's some alcoholic shit right there because you're like oh i'm not only drinking this <laughs> you, know? you think yeah oh okay where That's I come from, people do. Really? Mm-hmm. Just like to yeah. have fun and relax? Mm-hmm. That's weird. I know. That's weird. I mean, Jägermeister is, Jägermeister is the one big exception because it's a club thing to have those little bottles. Yeah, but that's otherwise, true. But otherwise, oh, Klopfer, I guess. Klopfer, yeah, Klopfer. that's such a thing. All right, okay, Plan- I Plan- redact Feigling? my own my own statement. <laughs> you never said anything. Oh, no, no, no. The magic of editing is going to mm. make this all disappear. <laughs> Okay, lazy Paul, cut this, please. <laughs> <laughs> Note I to self. This in. I keep this in. Yeah, just keep it in. It's That's what okay. she said. Okay, oh. all right. Let's end on that note. Um, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, do you have something more to say about the. the like, who would you recommend this to? Hmm. Because it's very hard to find English subtitles th- for this. I don't think it would be funny at all for anybody who doesn't speak German or has, you know, some idea of the the stereotypes of Germans and Austrians yeah. and the, the kind of constant I mean, quarreling. At least, l- least. A least? <laughs> a least. <laughs> is there a least? At least a least. At least is there a least. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm falling apart over. Here. <laughs> No, but really, I, I mean, if you if you are uh, uh, German and you've lived in Austria, this is that's perfect. that's perfect, yeah. really. You are the target audience, basically. Yeah, yeah, we are the target audience. If you've never lived in Austria, then I know Austrians, you don't know this, but Germans hardly know that you exist. So <laughs> hiding in the mountains. Yeah, <laughs> we're like we're like your gnomes or gnomes or, or, or yeah. troll. Trolls in the mountains, like a mythical creature. Yeah, you're a mythical Have creature. What about the, the Tyrolians? <laughs> yeah, they're coming to Bavaria now. It's very yeah. interesting. There's these vague rumors that you yeah. exist, but we nobody really knows. We spotted an Austrian in Berlin. Very yeah. interesting. <laughs> and when you go somewhere, Hitler. like every. Uh, 
No, but when Austrians go to Germany, everybody loves you. When Germans yeah. go to Austria, yeah, not the same thing. Yeah, I mean, you tracked us into two world wars. Come on. Oh, please stop that. Yeah, I mean, we 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 uh, we were codependent in both of those. Worlds. I think so. Yeah, yeah. We, we pretty both, much. We both and we are both enablers. We're both addicted to world wars, and we're enabling each other to do them. See, that's also a thing when you're German, you always end up talking about Hitler and the war Yeah. whenever enough. you're doing something that is supposed to be fun. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he... Don't. Just he's change the, most, the topic. He's the most, most famous Austrian. I mean, that's also a pretty neat trick that we pulled there to make him German for the mm. rest of the world. Just saying, we're, we're pretty nifty. Cunning. <laughs> Cunning of sorts, you know. We know we know how to pull the German strings to make him dance like a puppet, yeah. I think like, you don't. Like the Nürnberger uh, Puppenkiste, yeah. Nürnberg is the Augsburger Puppenkiste. Oh, at Nürnberger least, Puppenkiste. at least get your reference <laughs> right. <laughs> like the Nürnberger Prozess, the Puppenkiste. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, on that note, let's end this here. Sonia Pickers, plugs. <laughs> where can people find you? What do you have lined up? This is going to come out in a month or so. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Sonia Pickard Comedian. Uh, there's also my website, which is soniapickard.com. Um, mm-hmm. What else is there? Yeah. Instagram. Instagram. I have Instagram. Wow. It's also Sonia Pickard. Right I'm on. so creative nice. with my name. No, you're just ha- lucky to have a somewhat unusual name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, like po- my real name actually I can register basically anything for that except for that one Bavarian asshole who has the same name written the same way really? and registered like two or three t- top level domains uh, and doesn't give them away. Uh, Fuck you. Name I won't speak. Okay. Yeah, because I'm Paul Jacobs on stage so mm-hmm. and on the podcast. So uh, yeah, uh, all the links of yours is of course in the description below, guys. Also, our links to our YouTube page, our Spreaker, our normal FFP homepage, uh, Instagram, to Twitter, of course. I hate Twitter. Eight people. Follow I hate me. Twitter too. Eight people follow me on Twitter. Yeah, same. Don't here. follow me on Twitter. It's garbage. <laughs> I just have it because I. I've, you feel like you should. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's, that's why everybody that, has it. That's the most I hate about uh, social media is the feeling of you have to do it. I think Donald Trump is the only person who likes Twitter. That's probably true. Mm. That's very much true. On that high note, thank you very much for listening in. Thank you for being here, Sonia. Thanks for having me. Uh, we'll have you back very soon, probably. Let's <laughs> finish up the series this year, guys. All right. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. I said thank you too much because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I don't know how to end this this time. So bye. <laughs>